Hello everyone, I am Aishwarya and you are watching Aishwarya Academy. In our last video, we derived an expression for velocity of a longitudinal wave. And today, we will derive an expression for Newton-Laplace formula for velocity of sound. This Newton-Laplace formula for velocity of sound was first derived by Newton and it was known as Newton's formula for velocity of sound. His assumptions were proved wrong. Later, Laplace corrected the Newton's formula and now it is known as Newton's Laplace formula for velocity of sound. Now, let us see in detail. Newton worked on the propagation of sound waves through the air. He assumed that the absorption and release of heat during compression and rarefaction will be balanced. Thus, the temperature remains constant throughout the process. That is, the process is isothermal so that the Boyle's law is completely obeyed. The velocity of sound in a gaseous medium is given by V equals to root over K by rho, where K is the modulus of elasticity and rho is the density of gas. This has been already derived in part 3 of waves. If anyone haven't watched part 3 of waves, then you can go and check it out in my channel or the link has been given below in the description. Under isothermal condition, the modulus of elasticity K of a gas is equal to pressure P of the gas. Therefore, if k equals to p, then the velocity becomes v equals to root over p by rho. The above equation is known as Newton's formula for velocity of sound. Let us calculate the theoretical value for velocity of sound using Newton's formula. For air at NTP where atmospheric pressure p equals to 1.0139 into 10 power 5 newton per meter square and density of air rho equals to 1.293 kg per meter cube. Therefore, velocity v equals to root over p by rho, that is, root over 1.0139 into 10 power 5 divided by 1.293. Simplifying this, we get velocity equals to 280 meter per second. But this theoretical value of velocity v equals to 280 meter per second did not match with the experimental value of velocity v equals to 332 meter per second. Due to this large difference between theoretical and experimental values shows that Newton's formula is incorrect for sound medium. Later, Laplace argued that the compressions and rarefactions of the layers under the propagation of sound takes place. So rapidly there is no equalization of temperature. Here as in this picture you can see a sound wave which is following a systematic pattern of alternative compression and rarefaction due to which there is an alternative increase and decrease in pressure. Therefore the temperature doesn't remain constant. Then the process is adiabatic rather than isothermal. Hence for an adiabatic process PV per gamma equals to constant where gamma represents the ratio of specific heat at constant pressure to the specific heat at constant volume. That is, gamma equals to Cp by Cv. For air, gamma equals to 1.41. Therefore, Newton's formula is corrected by Laplace becomes V equals to root over gamma into P divided by rho. This equation is known as Newton-Laplace formula. Now, the theoretical value becomes v equals to root over gamma into p divided by rho. Substituting the value of gamma p and rho, we get root over 1.41 into 1.0139 into 10 power 5 divided by 1.293. Simplifying this, we get velocity equals to 332 meter per second, which is equal to the experimental value. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please click on the thumbs up button. Do comment, do share and don't forget to subscribe as I'll be posting more new videos so that you'll get notified.